hello friends uh, today i am going to explain how we solve ordinary differential equation using the rendel kutta fourth order method uh, this is very easy suppose we have a uh, first order differential equation dy by dx is equal to fxy with initial condition given y x not is equal to y not so always they will give dy by dx is equal to something and uh, y initial condition they will give now how we solve using rendle kutta fourth order method so it's very easy so for that purpose you have to calculate first k1 step 1 calculate k1 what is k1 k1 is just h function value at x not y not then calculate k2 k2 is h function value at x not plus h by 2 and y not plus k1 by 2 then calculate k3 what is k3 it is h function value at x not plus h by 2 y not plus k2 by 2 and then k4 What is k4? H function value at x not plus h and y not plus k3. Once you calculated k1, k2, k3, k4, calculate k. K is 1 by 6. K1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4. Once you calculated k. Then y one is y zero plus two. This is your answer. If they ask the next step, then so initial condition given x not y not we know. Just calculate k one value. K one is h function at x not y not. f x y already you know so just in place of x put x not in place of y put y not k2 is this k3 is this k4 and then calculate k and then y y1 how we calculate h h already they will give or you have to choose so uh, most probably they will give h value so Y one is this, in this way, and what is x one? X one is simply x not plus h. So now we have x one y one. Suppose they ask next iteration value, then no problem. Uh, you will uh, go. Uh, we started with initial x not y not. Now in place of x not y not, you take x one y one. For example, dy by dx is equal to y minus x. Y at zero is given by. Now we are going to solve this question using rendle kutta method. So what is your f x y? F x y is y minus x. What is your x not zero? What is your y not y? Once you know x not y not, calculate k one value. What is k one? H value. Suppose they ask, fine. y at one. So h value. If you take h value one, then you what is your next h? X one only, na? Because it's starting zero. H value we add to one only. So take h value one. So in first step only we get the answer. Take h value one. So what is your k one? K one is h value one. So function at x not. What is x not? Zero. What is y not? One. So what is the x y? Y minus x. So one minus zero one. What is k two? K two is h. H means one. Function at x not plus h y two. What is x not? Zero. H y two. H is one. So it means point five. Comma y not. Y not is one. 
plus k1 by 2 means uh, y0 1 plus 0.5 means 1.5 what is the value? 1.5 minus 5 because fxy is given y minus x so 1.5 minus 5 means 1 so k2 is 1 1 what is k3? k3 is the h function at x0 plus h by 2 what is x0? Uh, means uh, 0 0.5 y0 plus k2 by 2 what is k2? k2 is 1 so this is also 1.5 because 1 by 2 means uh, 0.5 y0 is 1 so again the value is 1 so what is k4? k4 is h1 function at x0 plus h means 0.5 and y0 plus k3 so 1 plus 1 is 2 so 2 minus 0.5 means 1.5 so once you move uh, all k1, k2, k3, k4 so what is it? this k1 given how much? 1 plus 2 k2 means 2 2 k3 means 2 k4 means 1.5 so what is the answer? 5 plus 6.5 divided by 6 1.8 so what is your uh, y1 y1 is y0 y0 is 1 plus 1 plus k value is 1.8 so 2.8 so this is the answer now uh, again I will tell you see uh, finding the value is so much easy just you have to calculate only uh, main thing is h h is based on your choice suppose uh, they give an initial condition definitely they will give now they ask find y1 y value at 1 so if you take h value 1 then what is your uh, after 0 what is your next value 1 so in next iteration only you will get the answer otherwise if you take h value 1 by 2 0.5 so uh, you have to go for 2 steps because uh, next step we will get x1 y1 and what is y1 value? x1 value 0.5 so to calculate at y at 1 we have to go for next iteration means y2 we have to calculate so based on h we reduce the computation size so uh, either they will ask or you have to do so again I will explain first find k1, k2, k3, k4 once you calculate all find k value and then write y1 it's so much easy Please do it. Thank you.